Next game we have here is Somerville, also on Xbox Game Pass. We've got a score on PC, which is a 75, and Xbox Series X, which is a 77, also comes out tomorrow. Same day as Pentiment. It's a double feature. It's an Xbox Game Pass double feature. This is by... Um, Jump Ship Studios, they are uh, half of the team that made Inside, Inside and Limbo. Limbo. Mm -hmm. um, I, it's my understanding the two people who like fronted that studio had a big falling out, and so they both went on to create their own studios, and so Somerville is um, is one half of the that team, and then the other half is doing some weird... We saw it recently, I think, at another Xbox game thing, uh, maybe over summer for Summer Game Fest. It was like... You play as like a fly and you're like a bug. I don't remember what it was. It was weird. Um, Did you ever play the game Mr. Mosquito on the PlayStation? I have played the game Mr. Mosquito yeah, a long yeah, time ago. Yeah, there you go. That's old video games for you. Um, but uh, Somerville, this is a game about... It, it's. I think, to my understanding, it is a similar vein of your insides and your um, limbos where it's, it's a pretty linear thing, right? Um, but it's about uh, an alien invasion or like an alien sighting in um, in England, right? You you read a bunch of reviews for this, right? How how did how do people feel about uh, it? So there's uh, the review on Metacritic from True True Achievements, at least the the, uh, the little like mini blurb. Little blurb. Of it. It says, overall, Somerville has a fantastic and intriguing world that's begging to be explored from the off. Wonderful art and sound design compounded with excellent character animations really bring this narrative adventure to life. But a smattering of bugs, lackluster puzzle elements, and an ambiguous story that left me feeling unrewarded after posing so many initial questions really hampered the experience. And it seems like mm. a lot of people, uh, the the response to what the story, where the story goes, is not rewarding or interesting. Whereas I think something like Limbo or Inside, both of those ones it starts off kind of like weird, but where it goes to the at the end is awesome. Have you it, yeah. have you beat both those games? So I've beaten Limbo, and I this is true. I have had Inside downloaded on my Xbox since the year two thousand seventeen, <laughs> with intention of playing it. I know. I think I know. Like to my understanding, like, I know nothing about it mm. other than I think I might know what the twist is to it that makes it so like mind bending. Um, and cool, but I also don't know. So it's mm. one of those things where like I have been meaning to play this game for literally five years, mm. yeah. <laughs> and I just haven't done it. Well, uh, it's not that long, right? I imagine it's like what three hours? Oh, four I mean, hours? It's five hours if you try to hundred percent it. Like it's like it's like yeah, okay. a, a pretty quick, but like it's a beautiful game. The puzzles are great, um, and on top of that, like what they do with the story is really cool. And I think both of mm. those games, like they reward you for going back and playing it again. Limbo, literally you're forced to play it again when you beat it. Like it like keeps going yeah. and like that in the really hope it's spoiler maybe, uh, but like it's just like such a cool narrative design mixed with the cool art style mixed with the cool story. That is such a minimal story. And this one seems to be focusing more on the story, but the story itself is just uninteresting while they still have some good art style to it, which it does look yeah. really cool. Um, watching the animations of the game and watching like, like, like just it, live and move is really it looks like a, a cool game um and this goes to i this sounds reductive it's a game pass game there's really no reason right uh yeah it, it, so there's pick it up. there's really no reason not to try a game like this because at worst you're gonna have more questions at the end than you had at the beginning or it's just gonna be unsatisfying at the very end but i think you know visually a kind of game like this i i think eh, try it yeah this and Pentiment, I think, really seem like great games for Game Pass. Uh, I might, I've been trying to like get through Summer, not Somerville. Um, that's what we're talking about right now. Signal, Signalis, Signalis. Mm -hmm. The people who like that game love that game, and I've not seen anyone speak really like ne negatively or like critically of it. I'm like not like it's on Game Pass. I'm not. I don't know what it is. Like I like all the elements, but for whatever reason, th there's just nothing there that's like really grabbing me. Uh, so I might put that down in, in favor of one of these guys and pick this up and play it on the side. And also, like, they both seem like games where, like, I could probably stream it on the backbone mm. and, and like, get decent mileage out of that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and not have it be too much of an issue because I imagine they're not, like, twitchy, like, games like that, yeah. you know? But uh, So, yeah, there you go. Somerville and Pentiment. Um, is there anything else we missed? No, I don't think so. 
Um, those are the two the two biggins. Cause he, oh yeah, because we did God of War last week. I mean, t- um, Tactics Ogre Reborn. Is it a remake? Is it just reborn? I, I don't know what that game even is. Wait, I know you're joking, but Tactics Ogre Reborn is like didn't it review really well. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, in eighty five. <laughs> yeah, that, that came out, but I have very little to say about it. So, like, like what? It, um, like, yeah. It, this is, this seems like a game that our friend Dave Parker would like. <laughs> Shout out to Dave Parker. Hi. Give us your Shout tweet, tweet us your review. Yes, six. Uh, go ahead and drop a seven word review on the Hitbox Discord server. Nice. Um, that is not a dig, by the way. That is a. It is just a JRPG ass tactics game, and I think that <laughs> that is a very specific. Uh, specific people like that kind of game, uh, and and it's probably one that I'll skip. Mm-hmm.